And we're back with Breath of Fire 3. We beat Mount Gloss, we beat the new and, or the new A, and we're going to gloat about it. At least that's the plan. Thanks, Tipo. That's, that's bright. But we're also going to be doing other things before we go along with our next mission. That's funny. No one's here. I told everyone we'd be coming to town today. Ugh, what? I knew you were bragging. I knew it. <laughs> oh, that's a shovel. That's a scythe. That's a big... That's a rake. Uh... Um... Uh, Tipo, what's going on? Uh, eh. hey, Ray, is it true what they say that you three killed the new A? Well, yeah, so what Bunyan was saying was true. So, you mean you risk your lives for us? I guess you could say that. Well done! Looks like we misjudged you, boys. We're sorry. And we're grateful. We certainly are. If we'd known what you were really like before, we'll... You won't need to steal anything ever again. We'll give you food whenever you need. Just ask. Doesn't that just beat all? What do you think of that? We're heroes? I don't know about you, but I feel pretty important. <laughs> you guys are something. I'm really impressed. Nah, no, I mean it, I am. Me? My name's Loki. I guess you guys are heroes, huh? Save the village, yeah. Yep, you three certainly are heroes. Yep, yes indeedy. Uh, you're really something. I mean, you killed that new way. Something no one else was able to do. Uh, that's why. Seeing as you're so strong, I wanted to ask your help. Oh, you help me? I just knew you would. Down the road, there's a farm with a little hut on the roadside. I'll meet you there later, okay? Then we have a deal. Uh, right. That's what I think of you. Anyway, five hundred bucks. Um, I know, I know. Since you helped us out, I'll give you a special rate. So for this, I'm gonna need that. Let's get three of each. I don't care, it's buy them all. We're probably gonna need them. How much money do I have left? Four bucks. I think it'll still work. Trust me, this part will still work. So if we go over here, the giant Yggdrasil tree has been cut down. I am the great wizard, my guys. As you can see, well, I'm on a journey. And I've used all my money and I can't find any food. I found myself in a bit of a spot here. So, that's why I want to make you an offer. In exchange for all your money, doesn't matter how much, even if you just have one, 
I'll teach you my most powerful magics. In other words, I will be your master, and you will be my apprentice. The more you train, the more spells you'll be able to use. What do you say? Oh, I can see you're one who's going places. If you become my apprentice, your AP and intelligence will go up faster. Of course, your power and defense won't go up so fast. So who wants to be my apprentice? So, this is the master system. I have decided that Ryu will be a mage this time. Normally, you can be whatever the fuck you want. Ryu is too damn good. But, I decided to have him be kind of a support mage sort of thing. And, yeah, it's exactly what you say, what you think it is. The more levels you gain, the different, your, the different your stats get. But you also get certain spells for doing all that trouble. But there's also something else we can do today, and this is the this is the main reason for today's video, at least. But let me save first. I'll show you the master system here. So every master you get will change you, depending on this. So intelligence plus two, AP plus one. Now I am f very well aware that intelligence in this game really takes a backseat to physical damage, but if you do your party well enough right, you can make this work. And that's why Ryu is going to be a mage, but he's going to be not um, any old mage. His plan is to basically be support so that everybody else doesn't die. So I'm going to gear him to get not really damaging spells, but stuff that can help throughout the game to avoid damage, basically assisting battle. But to be honest, he's going to be okay in doing wh whatever the fuck you want to give him, so it doesn't really matter what you do with him. Now, let's get this next thing done. So today's video, again, is those little uh, fish over there. Now, the reason I keep playing this game over and over and over and again is because of this. A minigame with fishing everywhere. Yeah. So there's that spot. So this one has a familiar face. You'll notice that these are all blocked out. What I'm looking for are trout and rainbow trout. But if I get other crap, then I get other crap. So I need the wooden rod. Let's try a worm. So that's a lot of, uh, that's a lot of stuff. So you'll notice different shapes. There's some bigger ones up there. I want those guys. We got pufferfish, we got piranha. And you can get those ones if you want, but I'm after the big fish right now. One of the main problems with this is you gotta kinda wait it out. They'll go at their own pace. So you're gonna try and cast good spot. <laughs> I obtained a trout. So how this works is you cast a line, go after what you want. No guarantees you'll get it, though, because these piranhas and puffers like going after it. Depending on the size, it'll be harder or easier, and you'll get points for it. The highest amount of points you can get is 9,999. You need 9,500 to get the best stuff from this minigame. But this mini game will do stuff for you in game. This will also do stuff 
to get you items that you usually can't get anywhere else. And they're higher powered than anything you'd get at that point. So, we obtained a trout. Now, take note of the big guy over there. Something tells me I'm not going to be able to catch anything over there, but I can get... So, if you take the coin out... And you wait it out. Lure him very close. And then you will catch Manilo! He's big. But his whole thing, every few fishing spots for a while, there's about 20 of them in the game, give or take. Now, as I stated, all of these are better than anything you'd get in the... All of these are better than what you'd get in McNeil Village. My main goal is to get that guy. These are also good too, but I'm not going to worry so much. I would love this at some point. It would be a pain in the butt to get. I am not going after that. You can tell why. These are higher leveled. Lure. So I need two rainbow trout, two trout. So if I can at least get one for Ryu, that'll be good enough today, I think. But yeah, that is what... That's one of the things that's going to take up a lot of your time in a playthrough. Is fishing for items. You don't have to do it. Outside of maybe one or two side questy sort of things. But I can guarantee you a lot of good shit is in those places. A lot of good stuff. So if you spend time doing it, you will benefit. And to be honest, I like the fishing minigame better than any minigame I've ever played before. So this is something that I always enjoy coming back to. It's tough but fair. It's It's got a weird catharsis to it because you can stop fighting and going into the terror, you know, going into the story and just plop down and fish to your heart's content and you can always go out and come back in and reset the fish. So I'm going to try and get two rainbow trout over here. And once you get a certain fish, it will no longer be hidden. Good baby. So we got jellyfish, we got Piranha. Nope. He's kind of sitting over there. Oops. Yeah, he's kind of sitting where the jellyfish are. The jellyfish and the piranhas are the worst. You gotta kind of wait for the trout to. There we go. That should be the rainbow trout. So, I'm pretty well versed in this minigame. I've done it so much and enjoy it. I kind of know how to fish. There are, like, these techniques and things you can do, but let it be known you really don't have to do that stuff. You just have to make sure you have the right lures for the right job. And be patient. Now, in a video, it's hard, and to be honest, I'm probably going to... I'm probably going to fuck up and lose a lure here and there just by the nature of being on camera more than...
There we go. <laughs> My screensaver hit me right as the right as the line cast. So I was like, did I miss it? Nope. My screensaver sometimes pops in if I play too long without refreshing it. But that's two rainbow trout. You'll notice I saved after each run, if I can help it, because you never lose your, your uh, you can always lose a lure. You don't lose your rod, but you can lose a lure. Awesome thing about this mini game is there are like 20 to 30 different types of fish. Manilo gives you so many different types of items and shows up in different areas. There's different, th it's like its own little bass, it, it's like bass fishing. Right? Like those fishing games. It's its own fully fleshed... This is like fishing triple triad. To me. You know, lots of games have fishing. And, you know, some are good, some are easy. A lot of them, like, do the... Like, East 8 does a fishing mini game where you, like... Um, mash buttons and it hurts this one is keep the slider bar if you can keep the slider bar going you're good if you lose a lure well that's why you don't use your heavy lures right away because unless you're going for the bigger fish you're never going to need a hefty lure so always try to go for the lower lures that you don't mind screwing up and missing So let's see if I can get a trout here and then get Manilo. Get ready. And then that would do it for me. And then we can get on with a story. Looks like there's one over there. There's a couple back that way. Eh. They all look like piranhas or puffer fish, though. Not too particular. I will try to avoid doing too much fishing on normal videos, but I do enjoy this a lot, so if I spend time doing it, I spend time doing it. And there you go, you see Trout and Manilo. I know I'll catch a puffer and a piranha at some point. Another cool thing is every fish you catch gives you different skills in... Um... Ah, there it is. It's really close. He's surrounded, or he was. Ah. So, they can heal you for different types of HP. They can do weapon, da I mean, like, item damage. Like, some are firecrackers, some are tasers, some, you know. Some are status buffs, some are AP buffs. Nice! I got him right away. Well, that saved me some trouble. And you can always get heavier fish or smaller fish. So you can always... Just because you get a record doesn't mean you don't get another chance at a record. So that took a little... That was actually a little quicker than I thought it would be. I got some good fishing luck. I thought I would lose a lure. Don't worry so much about the... The... You see the green button on the left side? If you let it sit, you'll get stuck on rocks, but you'll get stuck on rocks here and there. You'll lose a lure. It's gonna happen. But if you're patient enough and you don't spend your money on hefty lures, it's no big deal. But yeah, let's get ourselves a silver knife. And then I'll show off my spoils. And This is why you always want to do this. Now, if you wanted to spend more time and get the Iron Helm and the Waste Cloth, you could. But for now... So we got... The Bronze Sword. Okay. Look at that. Better agility, better power, and holy damage. And holy damage is hard to come by, but there are enemies that do not like it. So let's give... Tipo. That. So that's why. A little bit more damage. So now Ryu is going to actually do more damage than I think even Ray now. So equipment plays a large part in this game. Your stats do, of course, as you level. 
But certain equipment really makes a difference. But let's save it for now. And next time we'll get to whatever Loki wanted. I got a bad feeling about that guy. I don't know why. I don't know. Can you trust a guy named Loki? Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. But let's see what he wants. Because we gotta do it. See you guys next time.